Malfang. You are such a tease. You were this close to making the perfect, sexy redhead of a radio. You brought me right up to the edge, but you left me hanging, holding my dick. Last week, I did a review of the new Baofeng UV9G GMRS radio. And in that video, I pointed out that I really like this radio. This radio is waterproof. It supports split tones. You can have multiple repeaters with different tones. It scans all of UHF and VHF. It's waterproof and it only costs $40. Dollar for dollar. This is this close to being the most perfect GMRS radio you can buy. In that video, I did a range test. This thing talked to another handheld radio 10 miles away. I hit a repeater almost 70 miles away, put it underwater. If you want to watch that whole video, click that link. But now reality has set in. The honeymoon is over. I've been using the radio now for several days, mostly talking on my repeater. Oh, by the way, have I mentioned that I have a repeater? It serves about 900 square miles of Southern California, what the locals call the Inland Empire. But you too, can listen in and even talk on my repeater via the miracle of the interwebs and the Zello app. That's Zello, Z-E-L-L-O, not Zillow, Z-I-L-L-O-W. Zillow is for real estate tycoons. Zello, Z-E-L-L-O, is for dorks. You can learn more about how to listen to my repeater. Anyone can listen and how to talk on it at my website right there absolutely free everyone is welcome every thursday night at 7 p.m california time 10 p.m eastern time we hold a worldwide gmrs net a net is where a bunch of radio dorks get together on a repeater and do dork things but our net is different we keep it fun it's open for everybody for more information about how to connect either locally if you're in southern california or over the interwebs with the zello app there's the link. Now, some people, no doubt, will leave a comment. Some people. Saying how I'm... St You're stupid. It's stupid to put your repeater on the internet in an emergency situation when the shit hits the fan. The internet's the first thing that's going to go down. The internet connection to the repeater is not for emergency use. The internet connection is for fun and entertainment on the repeater. The 99.999999% of the time that we're not in an emergency situation. But I do look forward to those comments because they're always entertaining. Now, where was I before I started making fun of idiots? So, Baofeng, new Baofeng, UV9G. I wanna say UV5R. I used to really like my UV5R. It's back there somewhere. This is still, no matter what I'm about to say, this is still, in my opinion, which we all know is very important. Dollar for dollar, the best GMRS radio you can buy. But it is not perfect. It was Baofeng, you were so close. This is still a very good radio, affiliate link below. But I am gonna go over a few of the things that I've learned now that the honeymoon is over. That I feel it is my responsibility to let you know about because you, are my favorite viewer. So the first issue, when you take it out of the box and you turn it on, all excited and ready to talk to all your friends, out of the box, you're not gonna talk to anybody. Out of the box, the UV9RG comes with CTCSS codes, transmit and receive set on every channel. You don't have to understand what CTCSS codes are. All you have to understand is, is that if you press the button to talk and your friend is standing over there and he's got another radio, if he presses the button to talk, and you're standing right here, you're not gonna hear him unless by some wild random chance of fate, that radio has the same transmit and receive tone set that this one has coming out of the box. Bao Fang Hui, so close. So this may cause much frustration and disappointment. And it is a pain in the bitch to take those codes out. You have to go through every channel, all 22 channels, plus the repeater channels, if you ever plan to use them, one by one, either pressing the, doing it on the keypad or using the software. It only takes a few minutes, but 
in order to actually use the radio to talk to somebody, you'll have to do that unless they happen to be using both the same transmit and receive codes on their radio. That's not going to happen. Unless maybe you bought two of these. If you have two of them, they both come out of the box with the same codes. You'd be able to talk to each other, but nobody else. Issue number two, narrow band. I mentioned this one also in the previous video. Out of the box, every channel is set on narrow band. There's much confusion about narrow band versus wide band. I should make a video explaining narrow band and wide band. Why don't I do this? This is a wide band radio, but out of the box, it's hobbled on narrow band. If you're talking to somebody else on a wide band radio, unless you have a perfect signal, unless you're close by, they may have trouble hearing you. Their meter, if they have a receive meter, will say full bars, but the volume level, the modulation, modulation will be low. And the further away you are from that person, the slightly weaker the signal is, as the static level, volume level of the static goes up, your volume of you talking in relation to that static, that this is, we learned in, the, in a previous video that this is the International Sign Language hand wave for static. As the static goes higher, your volume in relation to that static stays low. They won't hear you. So basically, if you're transmitting on narrow band on your hobbled Baofeng UV9R to somebody on a wideband radio, they're going to say, what did you say? What did you say? You have to go through every single channel, change the setting from narrow to wide. Only takes a few minutes on the handset. It's a pain in the bitch in the software. You got to click and drop down and click and you got to do that 30 times. Why? Why? The next issue, this is slightly bigger, is the programming cable, or I don't know if it's a problem with the cable or a problem with the design of the radio. Again, this radio costs $40. So as I'm complaining here, bear this in mind, this is a $40 radio. It is a waterproof radio. Part of what makes it waterproof is the uh, tight cover. It actually screws on. You need to take this cover off in order to connect the programming cable. The programming cable, by the way, which comes with this $40 radio. Okay, we're still talking about a $40 radio. I can't emphasize that enough. I'm not complaining for a $40 radio. This is... This is a great radio for $40. I'm simply pointing out to Baofeng, how with just a few minor adjustments, this could be the best radio. This could be the sexy redhead of the GMRS radio world. So part of what keeps it waterproof, did I mention? I think this may be the only waterproof IP67 GMRS radio you can find at $40. Affiliate link below. Part of what keeps it waterproof is this cover. You do need a screwdriver to remove the cover. So the cover comes off and it reveals these contacts here. And to program it, you connect your programming cable to it. So to connect the programming cable, you uh, align it properly, stick it on, and it's ready to program. Ready to program. Ready. It is not ready to program. In order to make the programming cable actually stay on the radio, you need to screw it on. You could sit and hold it the entire time like some kind of savage, but then if it comes loose, if you move even slightly while you're using the computer to try to send the program and it loses connection, that could cause problems. So in order to make it stick, you need to screw it on. No problem, we've got a screw right here. So we'll just get that screw out. Oh, the screw doesn't come out easily. You have to unscrew it. You gotta pull it out and then you gotta kind of push it from the other side. You get the little screw out. One important tip, don't drop it. If you drop it, you're gonna be on your hands and knees like me, trying to find it underneath the refrigerator. You then put it in and screw it in and then it's connected. When you're done, you then have to reverse that whole process. You have to take the screw out, which doesn't come right out. You gotta pull it out, it wasn't in all the way. Then you gotta put it in here and then you gotta screw it in and put it all back on. That is a pain in the bitch. It would have been great if all you had to do was 
snap it in while you program it. It doesn't have to be waterproof while I'm programming it. I'm not gonna program it underwater, Baofeng, I promise. Speaking of programming, the programming software only runs on Windows. You must have a Windows PC in order to program it using a computer. Otherwise, you have to do it through the keypad. It's not difficult to do it through the keypad. You have to learn how to do it. It is easier to do most things through the software. But if you're one of the over 5 billion people that own a Mac, Chromebook or Linux, you're out of luck. Other radio manufacturers are the same way. So this is a bit of a nitpick. It's not just Baofeng. I'm just waiting for the day that some manufacturer stands up and decides to stop discriminating against the billions of Mac, Linux, and Chromebook users and make a version of their software that runs on those platforms. But it's obvious that Bill Gates has the entire GMRS cartel in his back pocket. Another nitpick, I'm picking nits here, is that the software, the PC only, Windows only version of software, when you download it from the Baofeng website, is in a RAR.RAR format. I was expecting zip. Dot zip every software from radios and pretty much everything I've ever downloaded from anywhere for anything was zip. Now I know that for most dorks, this is not an issue, but there are many people, the ones that say, I'm not good with technology, that if their computer doesn't just open our RAR, RAR, RAR file, when they click on it, it's gonna be a problem. Baofeng, just give us a zip file and you'll be that much closer to being that sexy, redheaded, perfect, sexy, redheaded radio. On every Baofeng VTech radio I've ever owned, to change the power level, to switch between high, medium, low power or high and low power, all you do is you tap the little pound button down there. On page number 16 of the Baofeng UV9G manual, on page 16, sorry, page 16 of the manual, I got distracted. It says, to change power level, tap the pound button. So when I tap the pound button, and there's a power indicator, you may not see it on the screen. You're not gonna see it on the screen. There's power, so you know if you're on a high, medium, or low power. When you tap the button, as per page number 16, to change the power level. You hear that? That's the screw you sound. It does not change the power level. Why, Baofeng? Why? So close, right up to the edge. You can still go into the menu and change the power on any channel to high, high or low. It's not that big of a deal, but there's something definitely wrong. You should be able to do it like that and not hear the screw you tone. One of the big selling points of the UV9 is that it has what Baofeng calls DIY, do-it-yourself channels. And that allows you to program multiple repeaters on the same frequency or channel with different tones. Many radios don't do this, so this is a great feature. When I did my previous review, I think I said you could program as many repeaters with multiple tones as you wanted to. There's a, a limit, there's 18 or 16 or however many. So all GMRS radios have regular 22 channels and then eight repeater channels if it's a repeater capable radio. Many of them only allow you to store those eight repeater channels. So Baofeng, in their attempt to make the UV9R the best sexy redhead of the radio world, they added DIY channels, channels 31 through 54. And what those are are additional banks of eight repeater channels. So you've got your normal repeater channels, one through eight. Baofeng gives us, whatever, three more banks of one through eight. So that doesn't mean that you can put any number of repeaters on the same frequency with different tones. It means you have one more bank of repeater channels, one through eight, one through eight, one through eight. So you can do three more repeaters with different tones, but that's it. You can't change the order of them. It's one through eight, one through eight, one through eight. If you're scrolling up to them, you got to go through all channels to get to the one at the top, it's on some radios, for example, the ocean radios. You can put in your additional repeaters, as many as you want, there's some limit, but you can put them in any order. You can have 10, 20 of the same frequency and different tones that you want. You can't do that on the Baofeng UV9G. Baofeng so close. So another issue with the UV9G, UV9G. The rubber ducky antenna that comes with the UV9G, UV9G, is pretty good. In my first video, the full review, I did a range test with the 
UV9G. I was able to talk to my buddy 10 miles away using the rubber ducky antenna, and I was able to hit a repeater 69 miles away. But for you advanced GMRS radio operators, you may want to get another antenna like the very popular Nagoya 771. If you do want to put a Nagoya on your UV9G, I got it right, that's like two times in a row, you want to make sure that you get the GMRS version of the Nagoya 771, the 771G. G is in GMRS. Like most of the uh, Baofeng radios, it needs to have the SMA female type connector because there's all different versions so make sure you choose the right one so if you use one of these more advanced antennas when you go to install it you will find that no matter how carefully you align it no matter how hard you try no matter how fast you rub it it won't go in the hole because this casing is too small it won't let the jacket here in there or something i've seen a few people online say that if you saw that down or file it down remove some of that plastic you can make it work you could use a small uh, adapter to extend it just a bit but that would likely mess up the swr i don't know if i'd want to do that i would rather saw off some of that plastic so to make that fit better either nagoya will have to come up with a newer version of the 771, the classic 771, or Baofeng will have to make that hole a little bigger. None of these little nitpicks that I've gone over are showstoppers. This $40 waterproof GMRS radio is still so close to being perfect. So close. I still like this radio very, very much. Did I mention that this radio costs only $40 and it's waterproof? Affiliate link below. Baofeng could easily fix most of these issues with a firmware update to fix almost all of these things. About the only thing they can't easily fix is that uh, hole for the antenna and the programming cable issue. But none of these are showstoppers. I still really like this radio, highly recommend it affiliate link below. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about this radio or the previous video or this video or anything, leave a comment below. I will do my best to answer it. If I'm not able to answer it, somebody else will come along and they will try. They will probably get it wrong. Dickhead comments, people being jerks, those comments will be 